And here with us tonight to share a bit, a bit about the impact the JDS Scholarship Program has made on his life is Matthew Johnson. He's one of this year's inaugural National Scholars recipients, and he's also an impressive three-time James Beard Scholarship recipient. So please join me in welcoming Matthew Johnson. When I was a seven-year-old little boy back in my small hometown of Duluth, Minnesota, my only connection to the culinary industry was from watching Food Network, and I knew that I loved food, and I knew I wanted to be a chef. I was a fan of the Culinary Institute of America and the James Beard Foundation, but they didn't seem real to me. The CIA was just this magical place where Anthony Bourdain and Kat Cora went to school, and the foundation was the organization behind the Oscars of food. They were far too special for someone like me. So back then, the idea of being here in this very room as a speaker truly could only be some intangible fantasy you would find in one of my many daydreams. But now, I'm 21 years old and about to graduate cum laude from the CIA. <laughs> earning over $175,000 in scholarships to support my education. No one at my college had ever received this much scholarship support before. My hard work and giddy childhood curiosity account for a portion of my successes, but I never could have done all of this without the James Beard Foundation having my back. They believed in me before anyone else did. When I was accepted to CIA as a high school senior, I was terrified of living in New York. My poor family was racing for thousands of dollars in loans to pay for my freshman year. We talked about how if I did not earn any scholarships, I may not be able to stay past my freshman year. But on August 4th, 2013, three weeks before I began classes, I received a call from Diane Harris Brown. She notified me that I had won the JBS Elks Family Scholarship that was worth $42,000. Diane, who now is a dear friend, can attest to this. I was weeping on the other end of that telephone. I had never held more than $200 in my hands, so to suddenly have that much money blew my mind. That scholarship paid for all of my freshman year and part of my second year. The next JBS scholarship cycle, I won the Andrew Zimmern Second Chances Scholarship, and this year, I was the recipient of the inaugural JBS National Scholar Midwest Award. Now, while the JBS financial gifts have been so helpful in funding my education, what really improved my life and allowed me to be who I am today is the peace of mind and the additional ambition the foundation has instilled in me. Since the finances were no longer a burden, I was able to focus on my coursework, visit restaurants all over the country, take leadership roles in student clubs, apply for more scholarships, win cooking competitions, and start preparing for a future in food video production. I'm so thankful I was able to absorb and appreciate all that CIA had to offer. Because the CIA and the James Beard Foundation I know now are even better than I first imagined. Yes. President Ungaro, Chris, Diane, and all the other JDS staff always make me feel welcomed and appreciated. I still can hardly believe it all, and it's been three years. Their conviction in my abilities continually makes me want to prove their investment was not wasted. And the drive I now have, thanks to the James Beard Foundation, will allow me to have a successful future. Thank you. I hope that you will all contribute generously to the Foundation's National Scholars Program tonight so that many other young students like me have the confidence to make their actual lives better than their childhood fantasies. Thank you. Thank you so much, Matthew. We're incredibly proud of our first class of National Scholars and look forward to supporting the